The floor. Thank you much for, uh, for invitation and um, I am happy as member of the European Economic and Social Committee to have uh, the opportunity to, to hear all these arguments. We, um, we did uh, two opinion on, uh, on these uh, aspects, but not on uh, necessary on electromagnetic hypersensibility. We deal uh, on the digital identity and all the technologies which is related with the proliferation of, the, of this uh, um, electronic communication uh, devices and also the societal and ecological impact of the 5G ecosystem. Um, the time is very short. I, we will just want to tell you that we have um, one statement in our opinion, which was uh, based on uh, experience of our members, which uh, they consider the um, EAH um, electromagnetic hypersensibility as an illness. And uh, of course, it was complicated uh, today to find out uh, the proofs in this uh, statement. In many interviews that we have, uh, we had with uh, members of uh, civil society organizations, they said that they want a reconnaissance of uh, of this uh, affection to be like a disease, like a like an illness. And this is not very clear now in our legal framework. So now what we have to decide, and that it's very interesting because we have various points of view. Um, we have from one side the, 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 the factual basis uh, proof that we need uh, in order to, to have a political decision in this uh, sense. And was said by Mr. Lezinski, uh, this kind of mark, biomarkers uh, with this kind of proofs. Uh, Mr. Belpom has described the, the entire mechanism and uh, uh, the information which gathered during the, uh, its experience and uh, of course, some of the processes which are uh, very hard to be seen with the uh, bare eyes and uh, needs more investigation in our uh, in member states and I think uh, openness from the society and uh, scientific environments in order to understand all this argument and Mr. Panagropoulos uh, has uh, also described uh, uh, factually we can say what happened with some um, uh, phenomenon in, uh, in, uh, in this field with this pulsatory effect, stroboscopic effect, multiplexation, all this has been discussed and all the information that we have in the field are from uh, whistleblowers. That is the problem. Nobody uh, discuss, uh, has discussed this uh, openly with, uh, with us, but it's important that the academic environment, because you have to decide interdisciplinary and uh, to support the European Parliament and we as a representative of civil society organizations, we need these proofs in order to, to, to debate uh, and to, to have a political response on this disease. We had these debates before and we said here and we highly appreciate Madame Rivasi because uh, it's a little bit, uh, uh, how to say, it's foreseeing what can happen in a certain field. We had the same debate with the asbestos, for example. Nobody recognized it in the, at that moment that we might have problems and was a lot of defense and we had the same uh, problem with the Teflon with uh, DuPont and uh, other companies which has been involved. So with the time can appear if has started this discussion, I think it's good. In the aviation, we discussed in the post, we have the, the just culture principle. Uh, when, whether it's a problem, you have to report it. And the, 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 the person, uh, you know, uh, it's taken seriously into account. We have in the working, uh, you know, in the working condition for aviation, for our trade union, uh, we negotiated this principle. We have recognized the professional affections in Bilbao for those which are working under this electromagnetic fields, for example, the rail uh, engine, uh, uh, the mechanics from uh, railways, uh, some people which are working in aviation, the cockpit, uh, the, the cockpit pilots, and all the uh, some of categories which they are recognized as professional disease. So uh, why not in the moment? we will have uh, more and more information and we will design better because this is not an anti-technology uh, discussion. It's only about how to improve the design, the aménagement de territoire, how you can improve the, the, the deployment of the technology, which is obvious, very useful. We are using this, but if we have uh, claims from the citizens, even if it's one citizen, we have to take them into account and to process these claims and based on the precautionary principle, which this group, the Greens in the parliament, is very careful with them. I fight uh, with them sometimes on the mining industry because uh, they defended also uh, some um, um, in the cyanide use in the gold mining industry, for example. We had big debates here and big discussions. So I think 
we don't have to see it as a war. We have to see it as a, you know, a necessary step in advancing uh, in a humanity progress with this technology, using friendly the technology, but also at the same time not damaging the environment, not damaging the human life and the, the life of uh, animals and beings which are around us. We have to be aware and awaken. That is the message. And we are ready to support. And we had the, we get already with Romanian organizations, they are calling themselves top 5G, but they are engineers. Don't imagine that they are mystical. They are engineers, whistleblower from the tele, uh, telecommunication uh, industry. And uh, they, uh, they provide us with a lot of information and with a request to start to work on, uh, on this path because lots are to come. Imagine only what will happen with electromobility uh, when you will have an entire battery under your uh, ass and you will travel with that. Imagine what will happen with uh, the deployment, uh, massive deployment of this technology with the AI or uh, tactile internet or other applications which are uh, very interesting but not always uh, necessary or they can, be, uh, can work in the control environment. Thank you very much, Madame Rivasi. Merci beaucoup. And uh, hope to, to see you as partner in this debate. And this is just the beginning. Uh, for, uh, this is my feeling. Merci. Merci.